as you can see here, something has been erased here. And but uh, clearly something was erased and something was written over the top, which matches the text as it is today. Erasure exists. It's, it looks like it's an erasure of an aleph. Again, an erasure of an aleph. And the text as it stands without what has been erased does match the uh, the rasam that is standard. And you can see it is in the passive is recited. However, if we look at the way that this was first written with the aleph in this manuscript. The verb ekra takes a different form. One of the ways that it could read is, and when I recite the Quran, it's certainly not the way that the Rasm reads today, but it would make sense in a, in a different way. In other words, the verse would read, when I recite the Quran, listen to it and remain silent so that you may receive compassion, rather than as it is today when the Quran is recited in the passive sense, uh, listen to it and remain silent. As you can see here, something has been erased here, and, and the, the scholar is proposing that this was an alif. Okay, so if this is alif proposed, I'm not going into detail into as to when this was erased, whether it was actually erased by the same scribe. So of course, this initial intention of the scribe was Qur'a, because this is what this alif maqsura or the alif shape determines the reading. So it's possible. I mean, one can have various. Um, you know reasons why the scribe may have mistakes. The scribe possibly was trying to write either Korea and then instead of writing Korea, he started writing Al Quran, thinking that he may have written Korea. So this is the alif of Al Quran here, and then moment he realized that he missed um, this Korea, just erased it and carried on. So as you can see here, something has been erased here, 